I will start with groups. Um, not sure how familiar everybody is with groups, but when it comes to working in a in a model, for example, we have a simple model here, but in this case, I have a lot of measures. But I already created a couple of groups here. See, I have two measures in this group, 11 measures in this group, and these are all individual ones, which I can put in a separate group. Why would you want to put them in a group? Just to keep your, your navigation uh, three shorter and easier to work with. So to work with the groups, you can right click on, in this case, measures, but it can be applied move on most tolerances and points and features, just about everything that's listed in here. And you say organize measure groups in this case, and that will open this, this dialogue, which shows me um, how many groups and what groups I have in here. In, in the second box, I see all the measurements that are listed in here. And in the third box, I see the measures listed in the selected group. So if I go to the next group, it's gonna show me the 11 measures that are grouped in here. And I can expand them in the three if you want to see them in the three as well to let's say we want to put these two in a separate group you just create a group and you can rename it and i'm gonna call it headlamp gap for example probably with h once it's called and and created you can go to this second window and I'm going to pick <clears throat> these two measurements and add to selected group. Once I put them in a group, you can see that in the tree, they're moved inside here. It's helping you with organizing your tree. Um, another thing that you can do with groups, you see these arrows here and, <clears throat> and these arrows here, you can reorder the measures. Let's pick a group with more measures and keep your eye here on the tree as well it updates it instantaneously so let's say i want to take a measure 11 and move it up on a higher position you see it moved it in the tree so you can reorder your groups with these arrows the your features in a group whether they measures moves points or tolerances or actual surfaces or you can reorder the groups in the actual tree. So I'm going to shrink them. And I said, I want to put the headlamp gap, the first group. So it puts it here. So everything you want to reorder in your tree, let's say you put, want to reorder these, uh, you can put them in their own group and put them first, or um, you can leave them wherever they are. For measurements is not that important, but for moves, if you have a set of moves that you want to reorder to be before other moves for, for modeling purposes, you put them in, an, in their own group and, and they can be reordered with these arrows. So I found this, this, this function, the, the groups function very, very convenient because it lets me make my tree smaller and manipulate it easier. Of course, you can remove features from the group as well if you don't like them. Yeah, so, so Maria, this is Gary. <clears throat> yeah. I, I find it uh, helpful. You don't have any point groups, but if you have a model that's got lots and lots of points in it, mm -hmm. you, could group, you could group your measurement points into one folder, your move points into one folder. So yeah, exactly. The idea, instead of scrolling and scrolling through a tree with lots of moves, tolerances, and measures, you can organize it and minimize your tree and then just expand what you want to look at. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So I just created, I, I did a right click on on my points list here and I said add point group, it added a group. I can double click on it and what do I see? Nothing in the group, right? Because I didn't add anything to it yet. But then I'm going back to the points, right click and say organize points group. 
and then my group one which I didn't rename yet I can put all of these points to my group and that reduces my three as far as points significantly so it's easier to to live with nice. that's one enhancement 